Hi, I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the lifestyle blog Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to bake acorn squash. Um, so to start, we have our ingredients laid out and the tools that you'll need. I have one acorn squash um, already cut in half and um, scooped out of all the little middle goodness so it's ready to cook. I have two teaspoons of brown sugar. I have one tablespoon of butter. I have a sharp knife, which I'm going to need to score the inside of our acorn squash. And then I also have um, a foil covered uh, baking sheet. You don't have to use foil, um, but I find it just makes for easier cleanup because um, you might have a little juiciness happening. Um, so to start, we're going to take our cut, scooped out um, acorn squash and just using, um, just using half of a tablespoon of butter, we're just going to sort of like rub the insides and the tops. And then after you kind of like rub that in, just that you can just let the excess just kind of hang out in the middle. But you'll find as long as you're using, you know, butter that's like not too freezing cold, um, that it'll, it'll go pretty well. So just give a nice little layer and then you can let the rest kind of hang out in the middle. And then do that with your next one. Do, 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 do. Now if this like totally grosses you out, you could use, you know, like gloves or you could even use like a paper towel um, to protect your hands, but I don't mind getting messy in the kitchen. Okay, so just do 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 and then I'm gonna leave the rest in there and then wipe your hands. And if you're trying to kind of like work on your diet a little bit and really incorporate a lot of healthy fats and you're trying to stay away from the not so great fats, you could certainly use olive oil instead of butter. Um, okay, and now I'm going to sprinkle some brown sugar, and this is definitely also optional. This is just sort of a classic, easy way um, for baking acorn squash, but if you're you know, trying to cut out the sugar, you certainly don't need to include this. It just helps to bring up the flavor. So I'm just going to sprinkle, 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 and it's going to, it's going to get on your chopping board, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna grab and just do this. Okay, so um, it's on the tray, it's ready to go in, but now I'm just going to score it um, to kind of open it up and help it to cook through. So you just need a sharp knife, whatever one works for your hand, just to do this little bit of work. And so I'm just gonna go like this, like this, just making these little lines. And then I'm gonna go back through the opposite way. And then just keep moving so that like you're not cutting towards your thumb because there's a saying in the kitchen that your knife will always find your thumb or your finger. So just want to be aware of that. And you don't need to go too deeply. You're just kind of peripherating to see how that looks. Now you can certainly do this before you put the butter and the sugar in, but um, you know, then your fingers might get stuck in the butter like when you're trying to go through. So we're just going to do this with the other one and then we'll be ready to put it into the oven. Okay, so now I'm ready to pop them into my oven, which has been preheating at 400 degrees. Now, I'm gonna open my oven door first because these are round, so they kind of like rock around a little bit. So I might wanna, you know, put my hand on one to steady it. So you don't wanna be juggling the oven door and these, so just hold on tight, pop it in. And then putting it in the center of the rack. And I'm gonna let that go for about an hour and then check on it and we'll come back at that time. Okay, so it's been an hour and my acorn squash has been cooking at 400 degrees. So I'm just gonna check on it. I'm going to pierce it with a fork and see if it goes in easily uh, and if the acorn squash is nice and cooked and ready to come out. So let's take a peek. Okay, it looks good. You see how um, the skin, you can see that the skin has been nice and browned. The fork goes in easily. Okay, it's ready to come out. So remembering that the pan is nice and hot, give yourself some sort of pot holder. It smells delicious and looks even prettier. Okay, so this is why it's suggested using aluminum foil. As you can see, some of like the yummy caramelized goodness has like spilled over to the side. Um, and if it hasn't hardened, you can certainly like scoop that back in, it's really good. And you'll see in the middle, you have like this little well of butter and sugar, which is just super tasty. And you can kind of like move that around um, to, to re-wet 
um, the squash before serving it. Um, and you can either eat it right out of, um, out of the skins this way or you can scoop it out and mash it together. However you like, it's a totally delicious crowd pleaser and that's how you bake acorn squash. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you wanna learn how to make, send me an email at request at And don't forget to check out our other great videos.